Hello and welcome back to another Gigavac Tech Talk. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm going to show you how to use the MXSL contactor. That's that contactor device right there. This is the automatic low voltage disconnect contactor, otherwise known as the battery saver. In a previous video, I showed you how to program this contactor using the programming harness and the software interface that you can easily download from the gigavac.com website. In this video, I'm going to show you how this contactor is used in a system. So let's get to it. I have the contactor connected to a power supply. This unit happens to be a 24 volt unit. And if you recall from the last video, this particular contactor is programmed for an alarm voltage of 24, a shutoff voltage of 20 with a five second timer. Here's how it works. During normal operation, this contactor may be used as a simple master on off switch or a main disconnect. You just hook a momentary toggle switch to open and close the contactor like this. Open, close, open, close. Now it's a latching contactor, which means it stays in the last known state, just like a light switch on a wall. This also means it doesn't consume any power. It only uses power when it's changing state. So that's very nice. If you had an application that previously used a manual disconnect switch, such as this one, this was the HBD41, you could easily replace it with the MXSL to do exactly the same thing. But the MXSL, it goes one step further. It measures the voltage across the main terminals and will automatically open if that voltage gets too low for a certain period of time. So here's how it works. Imagine a bus driver right here pulls into the depot whoop, whoop, and forgets to turn off the main switch. So over time, the battery voltage is going to drop due to IOD or current off draw. When that voltage drops lower than the alarm voltage, the indicator lamp, which I have here, will start to blink. This provides a warning that, hey, the voltage is getting kind of low. You might want to do something about it. That indicator lamp can be connected to a telematic system to alert someone at the depot. There's a lot of things you can do with that output. But if nothing is done, the voltage is going to continue to drop over time even further. Eventually, it's going to get below that shutoff voltage, in this case, 20. And the indicator lamp right here is then going to start blinking fast, indicating that, hey, the timer has been activated. And when that timer expires, the contactor is going to open. So watch this. Let's say this is your current off draw. Voltage starts to sag over time as the days and the weeks tick by. And now that it's below 24, you can see the indicator lamp here is now blinking. Let's get focus going there. There you go. So I have a little battery indicator lamp saying, hey, your voltage is low. You might want to do something about it. Get the focus again. Now, if nothing is done, if the engine isn't started, if the battery is not charged, it's going to continue to discharge over time. And once you get below 20, you get a fast blink and then it automatically opens. Now, once the contactor is opened, it's now preventing the battery from discharging any further. Not only does it open, but the contactor also powers itself off. So the battery is now fully protected from any further discharge, as long as all of the loads in the system are connected downstream of the contactor. Now, if this voltage threshold for the battery is chosen correctly, there should always be enough juice remaining in the battery to start the engine and drive away. All the operator has to do is hit the toggle switch, start the engine before the timer expires. Now in this particular example, I set a timer of five seconds to make the video faster. But in a real world application, you would set the timer to something like 60 seconds or longer, depending on how you need it to be used. So here's how it goes. You would turn it on. If the alternator starts charging the battery, voltage goes up, the indicator light stops blinking, and then you drive away. That's it. Simple, easy, effective battery protection and a main on-off master disconnect switch all in one convenient, easy to use device. Thank you for watching.